What's up everybody? This is Gleb from the Cell Frame content team and here we are with part two of this week's demos. So we've got the uh, our cell already bridged uh, over from the Ethereum network and it's in our wallet in the dashboard on the backbone network of Cell Frame. All right, so we've got our dashboard open. We've got our cell in our wallet. Now we can go ahead and open the cell frame staking site. Got that open right here. It is at stake.cellframe.net. And I will now uh, <clears throat> try to connect the dashboard to this uh, staking site. It was asking me to confirm in the dashboard. And I will press allow. You'll notice that my backbone network is active and connected. Okay, now it's going to ask me to choose which wallet. I have three wallets in my um, in my dashboard here, and cell test is the one that has the cell in it. So <clears throat> I'm going to choose cell test and confirm. All right, now it looks like my wallet, uh, my dashboard is successfully connected to the staking site. <clears throat> so right now the only um, staking uh, option is single staking with cell. So I'm going to click details and click stake. And that will open up my staking window here. And I'll choose a lock duration of, say, six months. Um, <clears throat> I think the reinvestment is not quite updated yet. Let's skip that for now and just do straight staking without reinvestment. I'm going to stake 10 cell for six months the zero reinvestment percentage. All right, now um, you'll notice that my estimated reward is pretty large. Uh, there's still a few little bugs. You know, you could say that this is still in the beta testing uh, phase of the staking site, but the staking itself is functional. So even though it says that your estimated reward is a billion cell, you can ignore that and uh, safely stake uh, your cell for however many months you like. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and confirm that transaction. All right, so now we have the uh, good news here, stake completed. And um, now we can go back to our dashboard and see how long it takes for <clears throat> now this uh, transaction to process. So as you can see, I have, it hasn't processed yet. I still have all my 19.95 cell here in my wallet. <clears throat> now, one thing that we can look at right now while we wait is um, there's a command you can do in the console to check out uh, the presence of the staking transaction in your mempool. All right, so it's mempool underscore list dash net space backbone. And I can post that in the description of the video so you guys can have that as well. And here we have in the mempool um, my staking transaction. See here, you see the ticker M cell. So that's the um, <clears throat> that's the staking token that's going to be emitted to me uh, based on the size of my stake. You need one M cell to run a full node. So since I only stake ten, I only get point zero zero point one uh, M cell. But if I stake the full thousand, then I would be getting one M cell. Um, which would allow me to run a node in the cell frame network. 
All right, so we've looked at that. Let's check out our wallet once again. Still waiting for that transaction to go through. Oh, there it goes. All right, I have 9.95 cell left and I have 0 0.01 M cell in my wallet. So you can hang on to that M cell um, <clears throat> until you're ready to run a node and you will be getting rewards in cell as well uh, in the staking site. So, uh, you know, as I said, there's still a couple of bugs to be fixed, but the staking is working. The M cell is getting delivered and um, the rewards are already starting to trickle in. So hope everyone uh, who wants to uh, is successful in staking their, uh, their cell right now. And if you have questions, let me know in the comments here or please uh, also get in on the dev chat on Telegram. All right. Uh, happy staking, everyone. This is Gleb over and out.